Volkswagen Motorsport India and I've been now doing uh, this job for the last about four years but I've been involved in motorsport now for almost 25, 26 years uh, in various forms. Uh, I was fortunate enough to work in the US in, in Europe, uh, was a race engineer at Le Mans for a few years and decided to come back to India and be involved in motorsport in India. Um, so it's it's been an interesting, interesting journey and I'm really proud of uh, what we've been able to achieve as Volkswagen India and uh, we are very happy to have, have uh, your drivers come in from Bangladesh and be a part of our championship. It's uh, a really nice way of moving forward to sort of grow the level of the sport from what it was which is just an Indian thing to becoming more of an Asian thing. The Amio Cup is uh, a one-make championship, but it's slightly different to other one-make championships that we have run. Uh, it is basically, for us, a stepping stone for young drivers to come and learn their skills and then make a transition to go international with something like maybe TCR. So this car, unlike our earlier Cup cars, is actually quite a serious race car. So we've got, uh, you know, an Amio body shell, but it's got the power plant of the Polo GTI, which is a 1.8 liter TSI. And unlike the road car, which is about 190 horsepower, this is around 200 horsepower at the wheels. So you're looking at it at the crank, maybe 20-ish. So it's quite a powerful engine. It's mated to a six-speed sequential gearbox uh, with the paddle shift. So it becomes easier for you new drivers to come in and get used to the car. And uh, you know, it's got some other safety features like we've got race ABS on it uh, to make the transition easier for people that haven't raced to come in and get comfortable with the race car. So we see this honestly as a, a step towards going to PCR or saloon car racing or GT racing in the future. I think they're doing fairly well. Um, Tawheed is, is getting to grips with the car. I think uh, the good thing is he's got quite a lot of uh, experience in terms of doing rally cross and being dealing with powerful cars. So uh, for him, I think it's just, uh, I would say, fine tuning his racing. Uh, because with racing, you need to be absolutely precise and consistent every lap. So I think he's getting there. He's doing a good job. And Afan, he's quite very young. So he's got a lot to learn and he needs, he's getting that experience now. So I think Afan, by the time you see the third or fourth round of the championship, I think you'll see him push a lot more. I think, uh, you know, for us, uh, it's nice to see him come in with the attitude of wanting to learn, wanting to adapt. And for a young guy to come in with that attitude is a very positive thing. And we would love to see him sort of progress further. I think he's got the talent and he's got the skills to be able to take it further. For sure, you know, I think we are very fortunate in India that between whether you take uh, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, India, between the three countries, uh, India has the most number of racetracks. And, uh, you know, there are also more projects that are in the pipeline in terms of racing facilities. So, it makes a lot of sense for all of us to work together and use what we have within the area. I mean, it doesn't require somebody to travel from either India or Bangladesh to go to Europe or go, you know, further out, maybe to Japan or Australia, wherever to race. We're just next door. We are more than happy to have people come in and be a part of our championship and hopefully build a career out of it.